106. Colorado High School Activities Association basketball is on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network tonight from Stan Lampy Gymnasium at Fort Morgan High School. The visiting Mountain View Mountain Lions take on the Fort Morgan Mustangs. I'm John Beltran for the first of our doubleheader as the girls will get underway here in just a couple of minutes. Mountain View goes into the game with a three and two record averaging 50 points a game. Led by Addison Branscombe along with Megan and Madison Keel. And those two really hurt Fort Morgan a year ago. The Mustangs a very young team. And the starting lineup brought to you by Buildings by Design. Check them out at buildingsbydesign.com for Mountain View, which is 3-2. and two. Alex Ellis, Addison Branscombe, Caroline Solis. Oh, I think I've added a player there. That's six players here. Georgia Pennington, Megan Keel, and Madison Keel. One of those is not in there. Let's see if Alex Ellis is the one that is not starting. Nope, she's in there. Branscombe, Solis. Yeah, Madison Keel's not starting. It's Megan Keel for the Mustangs. Freshman Lauren Zwedzig along with Ava Taylor and Charlotte Marquez. Junior Shaylin Ramirez and Junior Bella Phillips. Opening tip brought to you by Equitable Savings and Loan and Jumping Center. Branscombe and Ava Taylor controlled by the Mustangs and Charlotte Marquez in their home whites. Mountain View in their road black. So the outside right, Ramirez driving right baseline. Double team, jump pass. Back out on the right side, that's Marquez. And the ball is stripped away. It's intercepted. Mountain View the other way on the outside right to Caroline Solis. Now the three is up, and that's off the back of the rim. And the long rebound controlled by Ramirez. Off the miss there from Megan Keel. Ramirez the other way for Fort Morgan. On the high left to Marquez. Dribbling left baseline. Jump pass down low. Turn up around is no good by uh, Rachel Daniels check that that's Bella Phillips and the rebound and the put back up and in off the quick transition that is Lawrence Wedzik for two off a gorgeous feed there by Megan Keel Mountain View leads two to nothing yeah let me get my starters correct there's the lob into Daniels or check that to Phillips I don't know why I'm saying Daniels ball stripped away on the outside left with a basketball for Fort Morgan is Lauren Zwedzig now near the top. Two to nothing, Mountain View. One minute into the game. I'll get into the game in just a second. And Shaylin Ramirez just walked, shuffled both feet. Both teams with a turnover in the early going. Here comes Mountain View. The Mustangs averaging just 25 points a game. Coached by Brett Anderson. Shot is up and in. A three-pointer is drilled by Addison Branscombe. She's got the range. It's 5 to nothing. 6.35 to go in the opening quarter. On the outside right with the basketball is Zwedzig into the paint. Bounce pass inside. Taylor banks and scores. What a beautiful feed there to Ava Taylor. And the lead is 5-2 to two in favor of Mountain View. The other way, Branscombe banks it in. Drove left of the lane. And nobody accounted for Addison Branscombe. Yeah, she's a player. 7-2, Mountain View lead, 6.07 to go, first period. On the high right, Zwedzig nearly stripped, almost right baseline, guarded by Pennington, and then she traveled. Tried to squeeze a pass in between defenders. And a quick timeout, Brett Anderson's going to be calling timeouts. He wants to prevent the big run. Mountain View's head coach is Patrick Huddleston. And that's why Coach Anderson is going to use all of these timeouts pretty quickly. So 7-2 Mountain View, five points already scored by Addison Branscombe. Caroline Solis with two. Ava Taylor with a couple off the feet from Zwedzig for Fort Morgan. Again, the Mustangs at 0-5 and Mountain View at 3-2. and It's been a while since Fort Morgan has beaten Mountain View. Last year, Mountain View won 14 games. Defeating Fort Morgan here in Fort Morgan 81 to 22 on the 31st earlier this year. And on January 13th, winning 76 to 14 in Loveland. Mustang should compete better tonight after those 62 and 59 point losses one year ago. But they're down by five in the early going. 
And again, they could barely score last year against this team. At least they've got two points in the first minute and 15 of the game, although there were two minutes in now. Alex Ellis to throw it in. Into Solis on the outside left to Ellis. Ellis near the top. Branscom fakes the three. Dribbles to her left. Feeds it back out to Keel. That is Megan Keel. Lob down low to Pennington. Lobs it back out to Branscom. Fakes the three. Penetrates left baseline. Spins. Backs out wide open. Three is up. That's short by Keel. Ball out of bounds on one hop. Mustang basketball. And a trigger it in will be Lauren Swedzik. Over to Marquez. Mustangs cannot get trapped. Marquez dribbles by two. Jump pass into the front court to Phillips. Here's Ramirez dribbling left baseline all the way. Has the shot blocked. That was ill-advised. You got to pump fake it. Away with the basketball. Branscombe down low. The layup by Ellis is up and she missed it. And then no put back there. Nice job of Swedzik chasing it down for Fort Morgan. And then a steal by Mountain View. Here's Keel now to Solis. Misses the 15-footer right wing. The rebound to Ramirez. Ramirez, her second rebound. Jump pass is taken by Marquez on the outside left. Marquez inside the three-point line, and she's tied up. Possession arrow, Mountain View. Now, Fort Morgan will take their lumps, but that's okay with three freshman starters. Not a problem. They're going to be really good here in the next couple of years, but this is the year to take your lumps with such inexperience. Branscombe near the top, out to her right. That is Madison Kyle into the game. Looking down low. Feeds it left side to Ellis. Behind the three-point line. Lob inside Branscombe. Left-handed shot. Partially blocked by Taylor. Taken by Solis. She's fouled as she misses. Solis to the line. And the foul. On Fort Morgan. Committed by Charlotte Marquez. And Solis with two free throws. Gas, food, and all your travel accessories. Stubs, gas, and oil. Off I-76 and exit 66A in Wiggins. Free throw is short. Free throw number two is coming up for Caroline Solis. And that is up and in. The score is 8-2 to two Mountain View. Can they put it on the board, please? And the ball is tipped away. There you go. Ramirez trapped in the backcourt. Mustang need a timeout. Brett Anderson's got to call one. Hasn't. And somehow Ramirez dribbles into the front court, Then passes it to... Bella Phillips who banks it in. I don't know how she did that. That was a magic trick there by Ramirez. She was almost triple teamed and somehow got it in. And there's an errant pass out of bounds intended for Branscombe down low. Mountain View turns it over. Mustang basketball, they've held their own. Down 8-4 to four with 4.21 to go in the opening quarter at home. There's the lob from Zwedz again to Taylor. Baseball pass, terrible pass. Tipped away, intercepted by Solis. Now Branscombe, left corner, three, Keel. Yes, that is Megan Keel with a triple. Five turnovers for the Mustangs. Backcourt pressure being applied. Bella Phillips back to Ramirez underneath her own basket. Dribbles by defender. Jump pass taken by Taylor, still in the backcourt. Got to get it into the front court. Baseball pass to Marquez. Crosses the timeline on the outside right. Guarded by Megan Keel. Marquez all the way fouled as she misses. Nice move to the basket. It looked a little bit deliberate, but she wiggled her way to the basket and fouled. Keel with her first. The Mustangs to make some substitutions here with Kiera Aleman. As Marquez will shoot two free throws. She bends. She shoots. And off the back of the rim... Also checking in for Fort Morgan is Kiara Jimenez. Out of the game are Zwedzig and Bella Phillips. Mountain View leads 11-4. 3.52 to go in the opening quarter. Second free throw is a brick. Hit nothing but glass. And now to throw it in will be Branscombe. Well, what a solid player Branscombe is. She's got length. She can hit the three. Here's Solis, left of the lane, lost control, got it back, flips it back out. Wide open three is off to the right, missed by Madison Keel, and the ball is loose on the floor. It's picked up by Aleman of Fort Morgan, ball tipped out of bounds. Mustangs retain possession with 3.38 to go in the opening quarter. Mountain View leads 11-4 in the first of our two games tonight from Stan Lampy Gymnasium. Ramirez in the backcourt, left-handed dribble, she's double teamed. And now has the ball stolen away. It's loose in the floor. Picked up by Mountain View. Branscombe turns, banks, and scores. It rattled around the rim. 
And Ramirez has got to learn to pass. Way too much dribbling. And then it's thrown away by Marquez, but it's taken somehow on the deflection by Jimenez. She misses the shot. And the ball's pulled away by Nicole Olsen. Just into the game for Mountain View. Branscombe, right corner. Keel, three. Book it. Megan Keel with her second trifecta of the game. It's a 16-4 lead for Mountain View. There's the lob to Jimenez across the timeline. Don't go in the backcourt, and she just threw it in the backcourt. you got to know the game. Seven turnovers for the Mustangs. Once you cross midcourt, you can't look back. You've got to look up, and a timeout is called by Fort Morgan. And again, they're going to just milk these timeouts as much as possible. Trailing by 12 points, 16 to 4. 16 to 4 is the score. And the early going, Addison Branscombe with seven points for Mountain View, six for Megan Kill. The Mustangs have two apiece from Ava Taylor and Bella Phillips. So mistakes are to be expected. Mustangs have got a better opportunity to compete on Saturday when they face the Brush B Diggers right here on B106. Girls game at 5.30, boys at 7 o'clock. But even though Brush is yet to win a game, they've got a little bit more experience. How about a, not a ton more, but a little bit more than Fort Morgan. And I just saw Brush on Tuesday night against Yuma, 53-28 loss against a very talented Yuma team. And the B Diggers played some fairly disciplined basketball in the second half. They got better in each quarter. 2.51 to go in the first. Mountain View to throw it in. Branscombe into Ellis. Back to Branscombe. High left had the wide open three. Didn't take it. Dribbles to her right. At the top now for Alex Ellis. Now on the right side. Here's Evelyn Swank into the game. Dribbling to her left is... Nicole Olsen now into the lane is <laughs> Addison Branscombe. Banks it in along the left baseline. That was too easy. Had no defender there for Fort Morgan. It's 18-4. The ball goes through the hands of Aleman. Out of bounds near the Fort Morgan bench. Eight turnovers for the Mustangs. And Ellis to throw it in. If you don't score, that's fine if you're Fort Morgan. But you want to defend and keep this game within check. Here's the lob left to the lane to Madison Keel. Back out to Branscombe. Wide open three. That is perfect on the right wing. Addison Branscombe now has 12 points in the first quarter. Mountain View leads 21 to 4. 2.10 to go. Across the timeline. Taylor swings it back out to Aleman on the right wing to Marquez. Penetrates right baseline all the way. Puts it up and off the back of the rim. Nice look. And the ball is loose. Olsen nearly had it. It's picked up by Branscombe of Mountain View. Two on two. In the right corner. Faking the three is Keel. Penetrating. Bumping. Shooting. Missing. Ball is loose. And Alex Ellis had it. She's fouled on the floor by Kiera Aleman. Mustangs to... Nope. Mountain View to throw it in. Check that. Bella Phillips will check into the game for... Fort Morgan along with Lawrence Wedzig with the Mustangs down 21 to 4. Mountain View is not the best team they'll play in conference play. That's probably Riverdale Ridge or, or perhaps Roosevelt defending state champion in the lane of Swank and she traveled only the third turnover for Mountain View. And the issue with the Mustangs is turnovers versus points. Normally with young teams you commit more turnovers than you score points and that's the case right now. Eight turnovers and four points for the Mustangs. Ramirez with a minute 37 to go in the opening quarter. On the high right to Swedzik. Lob down low for Aleman. Right of the lane. She's bodied up over there. Now the three is taken right wing. And that is banked in. How about that by Kiara Jimenez? Banks it in. The Mustangs down by 14. 21 to 7. A minute 20 to go in the first quarter. Here is Keel. Lob down low for Ellis. Banks and misses. Left it short. Nice rebound there by Shaylin Ramirez. Her third on the outlet. Ramirez with the basketball. Feeds it right side to Zwedzik. Zwedzik lobs it right baseline for Phillips. Phillips lobs it inside. Aaron pass tipped away. And it's intercepted by Georgia Pennington. And then the ball nearly goes out of bounds. And it does. That's a turnover on Mountain View as they threw it away. And the Mustangs just beyond midcourt will have the basketball down 21-7 with 57.3 to go in the opening period. 
Jimenez throws it in left side to Phillips. Now to Jimenez, and she traveled. Oh, she had a nice lane. That was a good play there by Jimenez, but she forgot to dribble. Ten turnovers for Fort Morgan. It is Mountain View basketball with Ellis to trigger it in. Ellis over to Olsen, back to Ellis, now to Olsen. On the outside left, Keel lobbed down low for Madison Keel from Megan. Here's Georgia Pennington to Megan Keel, left wing three, back rim, no. Rebound to Ellis, dribbles, bumps, shoots, it's an air ball. And it is chased down and then thrown away by the Mustangs. It was chased down initially by Kiara Jimenez. And then the shot is up and in in the lane by Madison Keel. Oh, Fort Morgan had a shot there, but they're down 23 to 7. 21 seconds to go in the opening period. Swedzik utilizing a pick now hands it off to Jimenez straight away. Picks up the dribble, has the ball stripped. Jimenez chases it down. Underhand toss to Swedzik, dribbling to her right towards the top. 10 seconds to go on the right wing. A pick from Ramirez. Now a six. Cross court pass nearly taken away near midcourt. It's off the right hand of Jimenez out of bounds. And now to throw it in at midcourt with 3.3 seconds to go is Alex Ellis. Let's see if Mountain View gets off a decent shot. Excellent first quarter for Mountain View. Near midcourt to Olsen. Back to Ellis. A 25-foot three is going to be an air ball, and that's the end of the opening quarter. Mountain View in the first of the doubleheader leads after one quarter over Fort Morgan 23-7 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Let's begin the second quarter. The Mountain View girls lead the Mustangs 23-7. Megan Keel, Alex Ellis, Addison Branscombe, along with Caroline Solis, and Georgia Pennington, the Mustangs with Kiara Jimenez to trigger it into Charlotte Marquez out there with Bella Phillips, Kiara Aleman, and Lauren Swedzik. Bounce pass near the top to Jimenez, picks up the dribble on the outside left. This is Swedzik dribbling to her right, hands it off to Jimenez. Lob near the top to Marquez. Marquez dribbling to her right, guarded closely by Solis. Picks up the dribble, fouled by either Solis or Pennington. It's going to be Solis. That's going to be her second just beyond midcourt, Marquez to throw it in. The freshman lobs it on the high right to Phillips. She was bumped, no whistle. Three Marquez in the corners, left short. Pennington grabs her first rebound for Mountain View. Here's Ellis, chest pass, high right to Megan Keel. Lob down low for Branscombe on the left wing. That was a traveling violation. Should have been called on the miss there by Solis. Rebound to Branscombe, backs it out. Now the three by Keel, rattles in. That's Megan Keel with her third trifecta of the game. Mountain View's got five of those. They lead 26 to seven. Marquez jump pass backcourt to Jimenez. Now to Marquez dribbling high right two on one. Lob inside the put up is missed by Phillips. She was wide open and she blew the layup. Branscombe with a rebound. Long pass to Keel and Keel traveled. That was awful by Mountain View. They had a four on one. All you had to do was pass and it would have scored. Five turnovers for Mountain View. The Mustangs had 12 in the opening quarter. Lob in the backcourt to Bella Phillips. Now to Zwedzig over to Aleman. Still in the backcourt, ball tipped away by Branscombe, taken by Zwedzig underneath their own basket. Got to get it into the front court. left-handed dribble. Nice job by Zwedzig, ball poked out of bounds at midcourt by Megan Keel. Mustangs retain possession. That is outstanding dribbling by Lauren Zwedzig. Shaylin Ramirez and Ava Taylor about to check in for Fort Morgan. Into the game for Kiara Jimenez and Kiara Aleman. Swedzig lobs it backcourt to Shaylin. Shaylin's an excellent athlete, a great dribbler, but needs to, to pass a lot better than we've seen in the opening half. Ramirez, check that, that's Marquez working off a pick to Taylor, and she took a hop step. That's a traveling violation against Ava Taylor. That's the 13th turnover unofficially for Fort Morgan. A minute 25 expired, second quarter. Mountain View 26, Fort Morgan 7. Jump pass, Solis to Branscombe, beyond the three-point line. Now the long three is up, and that's missed by Megan Keel. Nice rebound, ripped out of the air by Bella Phillips on the outlet to Ramirez. Right-handed dribble into the front court by Shaylin Ramirez on the outside left, not even being guarded, pulls up for a three, and that's off the back of the rim. And the high rebound is grabbed by Alex Ellis of Mountain View, her second board. Crossover, front court, Solis, down low for Branscombe, bump, no whistle. Left corner, three, Keel is up, and it rattles in and out. And the rebound on one hop grabbed by Lawrence Wedzig of Fort Morgan. 
Under six minutes to go in the opening half. Mountain View leads 26-7, a 19-point advantage. Swedzik guarded by Solis, 111 guards the other, then a foul. That's careless defense by Solis, just playing with the hands instead of the feet. That should be her third foul. And they'll make a substitution. Nicole Olsen will check back in. Well, they've got two on the board. Lob into the backcourt. Swedzik for Fort Morgan. Picked up by Olsen. Player to player defense. Ramirez all the way. Banks and misses. Nice drive to the basket. But it fell short. The rebound is grabbed by Pennington. Uh-oh, we got an injury on the floor. That's Branscombe getting up slowly. Oh, she might have turned an ankle. They can't afford to have her out. In this game, they can, but, yep, she's hurt. She turned an ankle, I believe. And she is such a skilled player that without her, this offense is certainly not the same. 537 remaining in the opening half. She must have twisted an ankle or something of that nature. For over 100 years, Premier Farm Credit has been providing affordable, reliable, and consistent credit Visit PremierACA.com. Yeah, I'm not sure if she twisted an ankle or not, but that's the initial indication from what I saw. I'm not even sure it was a contact injury. Let's hope it was a contact injury because those are usually not as severe. If you took a bad step and might have either torn an ACL or something to that degree, that's a heck of a lot worse. I, I'm not sure. I thought she was favoring an ankle. She's still not up, but she's not on her back anymore. And they're going to assist her. And that looks like she's going to be done for the game. That looks like an ankle. Addison Branscombe with 12 points in the opening quarter, and that looks like it's going to be it for her. She cannot put any weight on that right foot. God bless her. That's a tough injury. And for such a great player, that's a first-team All-Stater with that skill. Mountain View basketball. Olsen Ellis. I believe both keels are now out there in Georgia Pennington. That's Madison Keel left of the free throw line. Left corner, Megan Keel triple is off the front of the rim. The rebound is grabbed by Ellis and now faking the three, but a walk there by Madison Keel. And the basketball goes over to the Mustangs. Mountain View has got two turnovers in the quarter. Fort Morgan with only one with 5.15 to go before the break. Charlotte Marquez hands it off to Ramirez with a right-handed dribble. Ramirez to her right. Feeds it right corner for Marquez. Looking down low. Lobs it inside. Ball tipped away. Marquez has it off the deflection. Possession arrow. Mounted view after the tie-up. So here come the Mountain Lions. That's just a shame to see Addison Brands come out of the game. Such a terrific athlete. 7.30 for the boy starter. Maybe a little bit after. Keel lobbed down low for Madison Keel. And she puts it up. Misses but a foul. Tried to hook it in. First team foul against the Mustangs. Doesn't matter. It's a shooting foul either way. Committed by Kiara Jimenez. Keel had two points in the opening quarter. Mountain View has five threes in the game. That free throw's off the back of the rim. Checking in is... Number 30. I don't know. I don't have a 30 on this roster for Mountain View. Let's check that. There's no 30 here. Second free throws off the back of the rim. Rebound to Ava Taylor. Yeah, this almost drives me crazy when they're, and then the ball's thrown away at midcourt by the Mustangs. Look at a roster and then a player shows up unless, unless they just added her. We'll check that in a second. In the right corner, wide open three. Olsen, that's an air ball. Missed it by a lot. Lawrence Wedzig with a rebound. Lawrence Wedzig is fouled by Megan Keel. Third team foul by Mountain View. Yep, no player with 30 on my roster. 
So whoever they added, that's a new one. That's the only one I don't have. So we'll just call her 3-0. Ava Taylor with a basketball on the outside right to Ramirez. Right corner chest pass taken by Marquez. Cut off over there by Keel. Lob down low for Taylor. Banks it in. Beautiful lob. And Ava Taylor scores from a few feet away. Her second bucket of the game. It's Mountain View 26, Fort Morgan 9. 4.15 to go second quarter. On the high right, Madison Keel. Behind the three-point line, guarded by Taylor, takes the three, and she left her to her devices, and she drilled it. Not bad defense, though. Madison Keel nails her first three of the game. 20-point lead for Mountain View, 29-9. Near the top, Taylor with a right-handed dribble, picks it up. Feeds it right side in the baseball pass to Jimenez with a left-handed dribble towards the top. Looked like there was a foul on 30, and that is a foul. That, that could drive a coach crazy playing defense by just reaching and not using your feet whatsoever. It's the 14th foul. Mustangs will shoot free throws from here on out in this second quarter with 3.51 to go. Lob outside left to Taylor and there's going to be a tie up possession arrow to Fort Morgan as Swank tied up Taylor. Yeah, if they can feed Taylor down low. She is very skilled. Lob near the timeline to Ramirez, dribbling to her right, right of the lane, kicks it back out to Jimenez, picks up the dribble, feeds it left side. Here is Wedzig in the corner now to Taylor, holding the ball up high. Pass is tipped away, intercepted by Ellis. And now Mountain View wants to run. Here's 3-0 ahead of the field. Banks misses, but a foul on Ramirez. So 30 to shoot a deuce. And Ramirez commits her first. A 20-point lead for Mountain View in the second quarter. Bending, spinning, shooting, and scoring. Mountain View with a 30-9 lead. Here comes Caroline Solis for Alex Ellis, another terrific athlete. It's a good basketball team Mountain View's got. 0-2 to begin the season. They nearly beat Pooter. Also lost to a very good Frederick team that beat Fort Morgan pretty handily. Second free throws, no good lane violation, perhaps. Yeah, I think Fort Morgan with a lane violation free throw does not count. Here comes that second free throw for 3-0. Uh, Mountain View. And that one's up and that one's perfect. The lead is 22. 31-9. And Charlotte Marquez for Fort Morgan with the left-handed dribble into the front court. Marquez jump pass, tipped away, intercepted by Solis. She double dribbled. Well, we have seen this before, not only in Fort Morgan, but in Brush. I mean, there are defenders there. You have to pump fake. You have, if you don't pump fake, they're just going to tip it away. Marquez to throw it in into the backcourt to Ramirez. Mustangs have 17 turnovers in the game. Ramirez dribbles to her right, lobs it into the paint to Taylor, dribbles, turns, has the ball stripped out of bounds. No! Saving it was Madison Keel. There's the pass to Solis with one to beat. Solis into the paint, turns, has the shot blocked by Phillips out of bounds, and it stays with Mountain View. Nice defense by Bella Phillips. Let's see who throws it in. Mountain View doesn't have anybody ready. Nicole Olson with three minutes to go. Second quarter, Mountain View 31, Fort Morgan 9. Olson lobs it outside left. 3-0, fakes the three steps to her right back out to Solis. Now straight away, here's Evelyn Swank on the right wing to Madison Keel. Right of the lane to Swank, back out to Olsen. Straight away, chest pass to 3-0. On the outside left, Madison Keel into the paint. All the way, hooks it up off to the right. Hit nothing but glass. Bella Phillips grabs her second rebound for Fort Morgan. On the outlet to Ramirez. Shaylin really favoring that right hand. She's got to dribble a little bit with her left to fool that Mountain View defense a little bit. Here's Marquez in the high right, and she's tied up. Tied up there by... Caroline Solis really dribbled the ball right into her. That gives the ball over to Mountain View as the possession arrow was pointing in their direction with 2.21 remaining second period. Chest pass on the high right. Madison Keel fakes the three, dribbles towards the corner. Cross-court pass off the right hand as Solis chases it down near the baseline. 
Solis dribbles by Marquez, jump pass right wing to Keel. Lob down low for Swank, dribbles, turns, has the shot blocked, but a foul by Taylor. And Taylor thought she had all ball. That's what I thought. That looked like it was all ball. Let's see if they say they got her with a body. Oh, across the wrist. I didn't see that. Didn't see that, and Taylor didn't think that was the case either. Two free throws for Evelyn Swank. Taylor with her first foul. Evelyn Swank bends, shoots, and in and out. Megan Keel and Alex Ellis back into the game for Mountain View. Their top scorer, Addison Branscombe, out with an injury. Scored 12 points in the opening quarter, turned her ankle, and I think is pretty much out for the game. Especially with a big lead for the Mountain Lions. Second free throw is up, and that one is around and good. Well, that's already, what, eight free throws taken by Mountain View. They made half of them. 32-9, to nine, under two minutes to go. First half, the lob near the right baseline to Taylor. Picked up by two defenders. Had control of the basketball, stripped out of bounds, and it went off of Mountain View's Caroline Solis. Fort Morgan retains possession. Yeah, that's where you want to get Taylor near the corner of your defender. Down low, she can do a lot of damage. There's the lob from Zwedzig over to Marquez. Left-handed dribble into the paint. Jump pass off the left hand of Phillips. And, oh, for some reason, Keel touched it and it went out of bounds. She should have let it go. It would have been a Mustang turnover. Mustangs will get an extra possession in the left corner. Marquez to throw it in. Fort Morgan will take that any time. They need as many possessions as possible. On the outside left to Ramirez, and the ball went off her hand out of bounds. Fort Morgan now with 20 turnovers in the game. And here we go with the Mountain Lions. Alex Ellis, chest pass, left wing. Madison Keel, three in the air, is off the front of the rim. Ball is tipped around. Ava Taylor wrestles the ball away. It's going to feed Marquez. Charlotte Marquez into the front court. Dribbles the ball off her left foot out of bounds. Mountain View has it back with 89 seconds to go in the first. In the first of our two games, the boys will have a better shot. They're facing a Mountain View team that's 0-4 while Fort Morgan's 0-5. Solis crossover dribble into the paint. Left-handed layup missed it. Got nothing but glass. And that's a careless foul. A ridiculously bad foul by Solis. As Wedzik grabbed the rebound, her fourth. That is not a smart foul. 80 feet away from the opposing basket. Two free throws. That's five team fouls. It'll be taken by freshman Lauren Zwedzig. With a minute 19 to go in the opening half. Mountain View 32, Fort Morgan 9. Zwedzig spins, shoots, and misses back rim. Free throw number two is coming up. Here for Lauren Zwedzik. And that one's in the air. And that one's off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound controlled by Evelyn Swank of Mountain View. On the outlet to Ellis. Alex Ellis. Chest pass. Near the left baseline to Olsen. Through her hands. Chases it down. Looking for a teammate. And then off the hands of Ellis. Out of bounds. Nope. It was off Charlotte Marquez. It's dead. Ellis will throw it in. With a minute seven remaining first half. Ellis lobs it left side to Olsen. Down low to Swank. Dribbles, turns, hooks. And a shot blocked by Ava Taylor. And the ball is loose. It's picked up by Olsen. Into Ellis. Hooks. Blocked by Taylor again. And now it's picked up by Megan Keel. Right corner. Ellis fakes the three. Jump pass near the top to Olsen. Left baseline to Madison. Keel all the way. Banks and scores. Well, too many opportunities. But Ava Taylor... With a couple of notable blocks, 34-9. to 9. 37 seconds to go. Lob, free throw line, Taylor back out to Ramirez, and she traveled easily. Yep, that's an easy travel there. 21 turnovers unofficially. 25-point lead for Mountain View. Olsen straight away with 28 seconds to go. Olsen picks up the dribble. Gets it over to Swank on the outside right to Keel. Down low for Swank. Turns. Shot blocked by Taylor again. Banked and missed by Alex Ellis. Ball out of bounds off Taylor. Ava Taylor has three blocks in the last 45 seconds. 
And Alex Ellis to throw it in with 17 seconds to go. Ava Taylor doing an excellent job defensively. Lob to Swank at the free throw line. Back out to Madison Keel. Fakes the three. Lob inside to Megan. Banks it in. She was wide open to the left of the basket for Megan Keel. Five seconds to go. Beyond midcourt with three. Ramirez crosses over with two. Lobs it. Throws it off the left side of the rim. Ramirez put back is up and missed. And that is the end of the opening half. Mountain View outscores Fort Morgan in the second quarter. 13 to 2. And they did it in this second quarter for the most part without their leading score this season. Out of the game with an injury, Addison Branscombe. We will come back with a first half recap. Right after this, the score. It is Mountain View 36, Fort Morgan 9 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. John Beltran back in Fort Morgan 36 to 7. The Mountain View girls lead the Mustangs as we head to the third quarter. Ava Taylor, Bella Phillips, Charlotte Marquez, Shaylin Ramirez, and Lord Swetzig. Georgia Pennington for Mountain View. Megan Keel, Madison Keel, Alex Ellis, and Caroline Solis, Mustang basketball. Swedzig to throw it in. Backcourt bounce pass to Marquez. Marquez with a left-handed dribble. Guarded over there by Keel. Hands it off to Swedzig. Near the top, picks up the dribble. Looking, still looking. Bounce pass on the high right to Ramirez. Behind the three-point line. Utilizing a pick from Taylor at the free throw line. Backs in on the defender, lobs to Marquez, left of the lane, Taylor, now to Marquez. Her three is blocked out of there, taken by Phillips, she banks and misses. Swedzik gets it, and then she's fouled by Ellis. Excellent defense by the Mustangs. Alex Ellis commits her first. Swedzik free throw is up, and that one is in, out, and in. The Mustangs score the first point of the second half. 36 to 10. Second free throw is up and that's no good. Rebound Phillips banks and she misses. And the ball is grabbed away by Madison Keel. On the outside right to Megan. Now here's Solis, her runner's up and good. A little 12 footer from Caroline Solis. Mountain View 38, Fort Morgan 10, 7-14 remaining third quarter. Marquez in a high right, dribbles towards the corner, left by herself, now picked up, feeds it back out to Swedzig, lob down low for Phillips. Foul from, from behind there by Pennington. I don't know what Mountain View's doing. Two fouls in the first 53 seconds. You're going to get into the bonus if you stay that careless defensively. Taylor lobs it outside right to Marquez off her left hand, or did it hit her left hand? Nope, it, nope, it did not hit her left hand, so that's not an over and back. She chased it down in the backcourt. Marquez on the high right, right of the lane, all the way, had the ball stuck in her hand. It was That's a jump ball situation. It was blocked, but it never left her hand. Possession arrow, Mountain View. No turnover there, just that's a tie-up situation and a block. Solis for Mountain View on the outside right, guarded by Marquez at the top for Pennington. Lobs it right corner for Madison Keel. Keel lobs it down low to the cutting. Solis misses the layup. Ava Taylor pulls down the rebound, her third. Taylor now to Swedzik, two on two. Right of the paint all the way, shot blocked and a foul. That's with the body. Again, I don't know what Mountain View is doing. Madison Keel clearly got her with the body. And two free throws for Swedzik. Way too aggressive defensively with a 28-point lead. Swedzik's free throw is up, and that's off the back of the rim. Credit the Mustangs, though, for being aggressive. I mean, you stay that aggressive, and you can draw fouls and get to the stripe. It is a sprained ankle for Addison Branscombe. Second free throw is good. 38-11. to 30-second timeout, Fort Morgan as they normally do early on 
in the quarter. Count on Wiggins Electric for quick, efficient, and courteous service to keep you up and running. They provide you with the service and products you need at your most critical time. Wiggins Electric. I'm estimating the boys game will start probably at about 740. We're at the top of the hour. Second shy of 7 o'clock Mountain Time. This is Morgan County's B106. KPRB Brush Fort Morgan. Yeah, we won't start at 7.30 even with a running clock because we're already at 7 with six and a half to go and you don't get to a running clock until the fourth quarter and we only have a 27-point margin so the Mustangs are hoping to play four quarters without it being a 35-point leader greater. Mountain View basketball, Ellis to trigger it in in the backcourt. Running the floor, gets it in to Madison Keel. Now to Solis, front court pass taken by Pennington. Lobs it to Ellis, right corner, Madison Keel penetrates right baseline, all the way, puts it up side of the backboard, gets the rebound, puts it up and in. Off the glass, Madison Keel followed up her own miss and scored. 40 to 11. 6-12 to go in the third quarter. Marquez guarded high left, dribbles by a defender near the corner, picks up the dribble, and then has her pass stolen by Keel. There's the lob to Ellis. Ellis with a three on one all the way, banks and scores. Alex Ellis into the scoring column for the first time in the game. It's a 31-point lead for Mountain View. 42 to 11, 548 remaining third period. Marquez dribbling towards the right corner. Lobs it down low. Ball is tipped away from behind by Pennington, intended for Phillips. It is picked up by Madison Keel. Keel right of the lane, bumped by Marquez. No whistle, backs up, wide open three. She'll take it. She'll throw it off the front of the rim. Rebound to Ellis. Reverse layup is up and in. Alex Ellis. Fort Morgan falling asleep, not blocking out. Down by 33. Marquez setting up the play for the Mustangs. Right-handed dribble all the way. Runners up too strong. Ball is tipped around. Rebound by Solis. And now here's Alex Ellis with one to beat. Ellis all the way. Left-handed layup foul by Ramirez. And to the line as Alex Ellis. Ramirez commits her... Second. Looks like Kiara Jimenez and Kiara Aleman will check into the game. Alex Ellis all of a sudden starting to explode in this quarter. Free throw, though, barely got to the rim. Nicole Olsen checks in now for Mountain View for Georgia Pennington. Free throw number two is coming up for Alex Ellis. She bends, she shoots, and around and good. Mountain View 45, Fort Morgan 11, 5.03 to go in the third. Ramirez left-handed dribble towards the corner. Ramirez maintains the dribble towards the free throw line. Now tied up, looks like tied up beautifully by Solis. Possession arrow stays with the Mustangs. And again, that's the one thing Ramirez... Terrific athlete, but I don't see a lot of passing from her. I see a lot of dribbling, and that slows down an offense. There's the lob by Zweds again to Taylor, left of the lane. Taylor then stripped from behind, did not see Keel, but chased down in the backcourt by Jimenez. Jimenez lobs it to Ramirez, guarded by Solis. Right-handed dribble by Ramirez, now to the left, and she's tripped up. Nope. Take it by Taylor inside, and the shot is up and in by Zwedzik. What a feat from Taylor to the cutting Zwedzik. Mustangs back on the board. Yeah, there was no whistle on that trip up. Solis now to Keel, fakes a three and traveled. How about Fort Morgan? Only two turnovers in the quarter, and we played nearly half the quarter. Down by 32, 45 to 13. Shaylin Ramirez, right-handed dribble at the head of the three-point circle, guarded by Solis. Looking to her right. Somebody's got to move. There you go with Jimenez. Ball stripped, but she takes it back down, flags it back down. Now in the corner, Ramirez penetrating. Cut off by two Mountain View Mountain Lions, and then a tie-up, and it goes over to Mountain View. Now we have that 3-0 checking in for Mountain View, whose name we don't have on the roster. Well, Fort Morgan still has not trailed by 35, so no running clock in the fourth quarter unless it gets to that situation in the third lob on the outside right to keel now to 3-0 all the way banks it in and that is not good defense by fort morgan she's got four in the game the lead back up to 34 
Mountain View 47, Fort Morgan 13, 349 remaining third period. Ramirez dribbles to her right by a defender, puts up a runner, good. Shaylin Ramirez from about 12 feet away. A beautiful move by the junior, 47 to 15. On the high left, Olsen wide open three, book it. Nicole Olsen scores from three. And now it's a 35 point lead with 325 to go, her first points of the game. Ramirez for Fort Morgan, right through the hands of Swedzik, out of bounds on a perfect pass. Swedzik did not look it in, Mustangs turn it over for the 24th time. Bella Phillips and Charlotte Marquez back into the game. Well, this is definitely a better Fort Morgan team than a year ago. They're, they're playing the game a little bit more crisply. Yes, they're committing turnovers, but you have so much inexperience. Olsen straight away for Keel. Long three is short. Ball is tipped around. It's loose on the floor. We're going to have a tie-up possession arrow Mustangs as going to the four first was Kiera Aleman with 3.06 to go. And to trigger it in is Lauren Zwedzig. Solis in. Ellis out. Madison Keel's also out of the game for Mountain View as Evelyn Swank checks back in. Marquez in the high left towards the corner. Trapped by Solis. Looking, still looking. Lob down low into the lane for Aleman. Feeds it right side. Ball poked out of bounds by Swank. Intended for Phillips. Two minutes, 50 seconds to go. Madison Keel is back into the game for Megan Keel. In the corner, Swedzig lobs it outside right to Marquez. Inside to Aleman, has the shot blocked over there beautifully by Keel. And then she grabs the basketball. Chest pass, left wing to Olsen. Olsen on the high left will back up, slow down. Right side to Solis, penetrates right baseline. Swings it back out, over to 3-0. On the left side to Keel, fakes the three, dribbles into the paint, all the way, puts it up, misses, but a foul. Two free throws for Madison Keel. And the Fort Morgan foul on Bella Phillips, her first. With a 50-15 to 15 lead, 5-0 to 1-5 for Mountain View. Free throw is up, and that is off to the left. Mountain View not good from the line tonight. 5 of 11. But they haven't needed the free throws with this big advantage. Free throw number 2 is coming up for Madison Keel. Can she go 1 for 2? She does not in and out. But the ball is rebounded by Swank. And then nearly a tie of the ball is loose on the floor. And it's picked up by Fort Morgan. What a job. As Aleman went to the floor, picked it up. And then she's going to feed Swedzik who travels. Hmm. Such a good play by Kiera, and then a walking violation. Here is Solis, lobs it left corner for 3-0, dribbles to her right. Swings it near the top now to Madison Keel. Madison into the lane to Swank, cutting to the basket and puts it in off the glass by Bella Phillips. Swank has three points, the lead is 37, with a minute 54 to go, third quarter. Marquez left-handed dribble, hands it off to Zwedzik. Swedzik left to the lane. Swedzik trap throws it up, misses, and the ball is rebounded by 3-0 of Mountain View, her third rebound. Again, we have everything but the name. She is wearing spectacles, but she plays well. Lob pass is poked away, taken by Mountain View. Left wing to Swank, puts up a three. That's off the right side of the rim, chased down by Madison Keel. Reverse layup is an air ball, and then a foul in the backcourt, fourth team foul. That's committed by Swank as grabbing the ball was Lawrence Wedzig. Tell you what, Wedzig's done a nice job on the boards. Real nice job. And Mountain View has stayed disciplined after three early fouls in this quarter. That was their first foul in over five and a half minutes. A minute 19 to go in the third. Mountain View 52, Fort Morgan 15. Marquez with a right-handed dribble near the corner. Crosses over to her left. Ball is knocked out of bounds from behind by Solis. Charlotte really dribbles the ball well, but there's not a lot of movement in her feet when she dribbles. That explosiveness is something hopefully that will pick up as she matures. Three quarters court, Marquez to throw it in. Looking. Lob, head of the three-point circle to Jimenez behind the three-point line. Jimenez looking. 
Bounce pass right side to Swedzik with a minute five to go. Penetrating right baseline. Picks it back out over to Jimenez. She penetrates right baseline. Throws up a runner. It's blocked by Swank. Take it by Phillips, but she was on the baseline. And Mountain View will have the basketball. And Ellis to throw it in with under a minute to go. And the Mustangs are going to pressure in the backcourt. Ellis underneath the basket. Then that ball is tipped away by Alamada Jimenez. Jimenez banks, misses, and then a put back and a miss there by Swedzik. Mustangs will shoot two. Great defense by Fort Morgan. And Lauren Swedzik to the line. Foul on Nicole Olson. But can Swedzik hit free throws? That's been an issue. That one's up. In and out. Swedzik, two out of seven from the line. She's taken more free throws than her teammates combined. Second one is up. Second one is short. And Swank grabs the board for Mountain View on the outlet to Olsen. 44 seconds remaining in the third. We'll be under a running clock in the fourth quarter, the entire quarter. Here is Keel. Bounce pass, uh, check, uh, chest pass to Ellis. Lob down low here. Swank into the lane. Wants to hook, cannot. Feeds it to Keel. Keel all the way. Reverse layup up and in off the glass. Nice move by Madison Keel. She's got 11. The lead is 39 with 22 seconds to go in the third quarter. Charlotte Marquez for the Mustangs. Right baseline. She'll put up a shot air ball. It's taken away by Madison Keel on the outlet to Ellis, but the pass was too strong out of bounds. Or did she save it in? Oh, man, and a tie-up, and it stays with Mountain View. I don't know how she saved that in. That looked like it was impossible to save in. That's what I get for trying to anticipate the play. Nonetheless, Alice, uh, <coughs> Alice, how about Alice? Alex Ellis to throw it in to Keel. Three-pointer no good. Ball is tipped out of bounds. It's off of Fort Morgan. It might be easier if her name was Alice Ellis, but it's Alex Ellis. Alex to throw it in. Looking down low. Lobs it to Swank. Puts it up off the glass and in. Little five-footer in the lane for Evelyn Swank off the perfect feet from Ellis. And that's the end of three periods in Fort Morgan. Running clock coming to you in the fourth quarter. It is Mountain View 56, Fort Morgan 15 on the Eastern Plain Sports Network. 106. Charlotte Marquez, Bella Phillips, Kiara Aleman, Kiara Jimenez, and Lawrence Wedzik for the Mustangs. It's Megan Keel, Madison Keel, Georgia Pennington, Alex Ellis, and Caroline Solis for Mountain View. Let's begin the fourth quarter. Mountain View with a 56 to 15 lead. A bad pass by Fort Morgan, picked off by Solis, and then she nearly threw it away. The ball's loose on the floor, and it's taken by Zwedzik. The team's exchange turnover is just like that. Into the front court, here's Jimenez. Looked like she palmed the basketball. She did. And the ball goes over to Mountain View. Mustangs have turned it over already two times to begin the fourth quarter. And we've got unofficially 27 turnovers in the game. Ellis to throw it in into Caroline Solis. Lob left baseline to Keel. Dribbles, shoots, banks, and scores. To the left of the basket, Madison Keel with 13. Addison Branscombe scored 12 points in the opening quarter, went down with an ankle injury, he's on crutches, and out for the remainder of the game, obviously. Charlotte Marquez, lobs near the right baseline, dropped and picked up by Jimenez, lob inside, is poked away, and intercepted in a tie-up between Zwedzik and Pennington, possession arrow, Fort Morgan. Yelena Ramirez checks in for the first time. And because we have the running clock, that boys game will probably start no later than 7.40, maybe earlier than that. It will only stop now for free throws and timeouts. Three by Megan Keels, way short and out of bounds. And the clock runs while the ball is out of bounds. And that, those are valuable seconds, not against Fort Morgan, just seconds that are not basketball seconds. Charlotte Marquez. A freshman lobs right of the free throw line to Ramirez. Bounce pass to Aleman. Penetrates left baseline. She traveled. Or no, a holding violation. Check that. A hold. I didn't see that. Committed by Megan Keel. That's her third foul. To throw it in will be Marquez. I don't know what the Mustangs are doing. They're on offense, not on defense. They were going the other way, except 
the inbounds passer, and the hook is missed by Zwedzig, and the ball is batted around, and it's taken by Aleman, and then she traveled. So that is the correct call there. 58 to 15, Caroline Solis with five and a half to go. Lobs on the outside right to Pennington, takes a wild three and misses. Rebound of Keel, dribbles, banks, misses that one, and the ball is loose. It's picked up by Megan Keel. Her three is off the top of the backboard, and that is missed. And Charlotte Marquez with the basketball for the Mustangs. Marquez all the way, turns, banks, misses. Rebound put back in a foul. Zwedzig is fouled by Megan Keel. She'll shoot again. Clock will stop here momentarily for the two free throws. And Lauren Swedzig to shoot two with 5.07 remaining. Fort Morgan has not scored in the quarter. And in and out. Now struggles from the free throw line. Two out of nine for Swedzig. Nicole Olson and Evelyn Swank back in along out there with Pennington. Madison Keel and 3-0. Second free throw. That's a good one. Swedzik tonight has got five points in the game on the second half. Backcourt pressure. Nicole Olsen dribbles into the front court. It's a three-on-three. Three. Outside left to Megan Keel. And her three-pointer is back rimmed. Ball is loose. And it was chased down initially by Kiara Jimenez. But it went out of bounds anyway. So the Mustangs have it. No damage done. Clock continues to roll, approaching the four and one half minute mark of the fourth quarter. Mountain View 58, Fort Morgan 16. Into the lane, Yelena Ramirez bounce pass to Kiara Jimenez. Maintains the dribble, picks up the dribble, bounce pass to Marquez. Marquez to her right, lobs it inside to Ramirez, banks it in. Beautiful pass by Marquez. Yelena Ramirez scores. 58 to 18, 4 13 to go in the game. Keel front court to Swank, right wing to Madison Keel. Drives right baseline all the way by herself, and she banks it in. She stormed right by a Mustang defender and scored. That's 15 for Madison Keel. She leads all scores. Back to a 42 point lead for the Mountain View, Mountain Lions. The lob towards Ramirez poked away. It's intercepted by Mountain View. There's the lob to 3-0 with one to beat. Lost control, got it back. Banks and misses, and the ball is loose. It is picked up by Mountain View, and the three is off the back of the rim from Megan Keel. And the rebound to Yelena Ramirez. Here's Marquez, offensive foul she pushed off. That also goes as a turnover, number 30 for Fort Morgan. Marquez with her second personal. While the substitutions are made, the time rolls off the clock. 3.15 and counting, 60 to 18. Olsen gets it into Megan Keel. Now to Swank. Swank free throw line, right wing to Madison Keel. Penetrates all the way, left handed layup, nothing but air. And the ball was touched by Fort Morgan, so Keel's allowed to touch it again inside to Swank. Swank looking, dribbling, and stripped from behind. And that's a double dribble. Yep, that's a double dribble by Alamon. Teams exchange turnovers. Yep, that's the right call. If we have a 15-minute break in between games, we'll go to some music as opposed to a 10-minute break. We'll see how it's played out. Pennington to Olsen, dribbling left baseline. Olsen is going to have to kick it back out somewhere. Hands it off to Pennington. Swings it back out to Keel. Down low to Swank. Straight away to 3-0. 2.28 to go in the game. Left corner, Madison Keel dribbles to her right. Into the lane. Tried to hook it up, and it was stripped away by... Aleman, then the ball is loose at midcourt, picked up by Ramirez. Ahead of the field is Aleman. Shot is blocked out of bounds by Swank. But the Mustangs do retain possession. And here comes Caroline Solis for Madison Keel. Under two minutes to go in Fort Morgan. Bounce pass, high left. There's Aubrey Alvidres. And the ball is knocked out of bounds. Aubrey, a freshman. Great to see playing time uh, for Aubrey in this game. And to throw it in is Alaban. And to Aubrey on the bounce. Very good athlete. Dribbles towards the top. Picks up the dribble. Overhead pass, though, is tipped away. 
and it's intercepted. Fort Morgan, seven turnovers in the quarter. Here's Solis, crossover. Outside left to Pennington, utilizing a pick dribbles to her right. Right corner, Olsen fakes the three, lobs it to Swank, turns, has a shot blocked out of there by Ramirez. Picked up, though, by Pennington of Mountain View. They reset the offense. Down low, and the shot is up and in on the feed to Solis off the glass. Solis scores for the second time in the second half. She's got seven in the game. And Melina Richards also in for the Mustangs at 62-18. to 18, 58 seconds to go. And then that pass towards the free throw line by Aubrey's intercepted. Swank the other way will bank and score. Evelyn Swank with six of her seven points in the second half at 64-18. to 18. A lightning fast fourth quarter. We're not going to start at 740. We'll start before that. Here's Ramirez. Puts up a shot and in! Oh, she kind of threw it up from 10 feet away on the left block off the glass. Ramirez has scored for the five Mustang points in the fourth quarter. Solis into the lane. Jump pass left side for Olsen. 26 seconds to go. Straight away to 3-0. Right side to Pennington. With a left-handed dribble inside to Solis. Turns, shoots, and scores off the back of the rim. Oh, Caroline Solis. Now with nine points in the game, 13 seconds to go. Live by Aubrey, and that one's intercepted. And there's that long pass towards midcourt. That's picked off by Aubrey. Nice defense by the Mustang freshman. Four seconds to go. Puts up the shot, and that is off to the right, out of bounds, and the game is over. Mountain View has defeated Fort Morgan tonight in Fort Morgan by a score of 66 to 20. We will wait and see what the difference of time is in between games. While we run through the numbers, Mountain View improves to 4 and 2. The Mustangs drop to 0 and 6 on the season. Still waiting them. To readjust, well, it will be a 10-minute break in between games, so we'll start just after 7.30. Not too bad tonight. Just after 7.30 is when we will begin the boys' game. We'll come back with a post-game show. In the first half of our doubleheader, the Mountain View girls defeat Fort Morgan 66-20 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. The Mustang Post Game Show brought to you by Advanced Agri Solutions. Get a full plan of seafood and water for your field. Now is the time to begin your planning for next year's growing season. Call Dusty or Roxy, 970-571-2024. Tonight, the Mountain View Mountain Lion Girls defeated the Fort Morgan Mustangs 66-20. 23-7 after one, 36-9 at the break. And in that second quarter, Mountain View's leading scorer this season, Addison Branscombe, went down with a sprained ankle. And then Mountain View with a 20-6 third quarter, a 10-5 fourth quarter, to move to 4-2. and two. Mountain View had three players in double figures, led by Madison Keels, 15 points. Branscombe, despite only playing, what, about eight minutes in the game, had 12 points. 11 points for Megan Keel, nine for Caroline Solis. Evelyn Swank had seven. Five for Alex Ellis. Then the player wearing 3-0 scored four. And Nicole Olsen with a three-pointer. The Mustangs had six points from Lauren Zwedzig and Kiara Jimenez. Four apiece from Ava Taylor, who had a, quite a few blocks in this game. Bella Phillips with four. Yelena Ramirez with four. And then two points for Shaylin Ramirez. 26 rebounds for the Mustangs, 7 by Zwedzik, a guard grabbing that many rebounds, very impressive. Madison Keel had 6 of 24 rebounds for Mountain View, 34 turnovers unofficially for Fort Morgan, 14 for Mountain View. At the free throw line, Mountain View was not good, 5 of 12, the Mustangs were worse though. They shot just over 20%, 3 of 14. And again, the Mustangs will have another opportunity in fact they have multiple opportunities to win before we get to the christmas break it won't be easy especially a week from tonight at severance 
but the more realistic chance, even though they'll be an underdog in that game, is Saturday at 5.30 on B106. In brush against the B-Diggers, I'll be out there with Brian Nickel, and Brian will be on the air playing solo a week from tonight when the Mustangs take on the Silver Knights of Severance on the road. So that's the story of game one tonight. Mountain View with a lot of solid returning players use that experience as the girls won over the Fort Morgan Mustangs 66 to 20. We'll get to the starting lineups and the tip of game number two. Mountain View boys and the Fort Morgan Mustangs. I'm John Beltran live from Stan Lampy Gymnasium in Fort Morgan on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network.